Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and I had an idea where I wanted to start making specific videos on breeding, especially with specific Pokemon with specific egg moves that are really needed for competitive, because I think it can be really confusing, uh, and it'd be really nice to have sort of a streamlined guide for different Pokemon for different egg moves. So, this video is going to be about breeding Aqua Jet and Belly Drum onto a Marl slash Ozumarill for competitive play. So first things first, you want to start with a decent female Marl. You honestly might want one worse than this, so you can kind of breed up the stats along the way instead of having to maintain the stats. It's going to be more expensive, so you want to start with a Marl and then go ahead, a female Marl, check the GTL and find a male Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, any, any of those... Uh, evolution type Pokemon because those guys are what are going to be your belly drummers. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. They believe they learned belly drum at level 48. Yeah, right here, level 48. So I have to go ahead and level this dude up from level 20 to 48. So it's time to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, the next thing we're going to be searching for is going to be a Gold Duck or a Floatzel with decent IVs to be able to breed Aqua Jet on it as well. So I'm still leveling my Poliwhirl, but I saw the Psyduck on the GTL for a really good price at 1.8k. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that and show you guys that and show you guys my plan with that. So with both of these breeds, I'll be uh, bracing the speed on my Marl, so I don't have to worry about that. 31 speed is usually a very expensive stat, so I thought I would just brace that and then get all the other stats on the rest of the Pokemon, which is pretty simple. So the plan right now is going to be to breed this Marl with this Poliwhirl. Make sure all of your breeders alongside the Marl are going to be male, because you want the Marl to always be female to decide the species, and you want to make sure you pay the extra 5k to make the breed a male, or a female, excuse me, whenever you do the uh, the actual breed. So right now, we're going to get this Poliwhirl to level 48, teach it Belly Drum, Breed it with my Marl, bracing the speed, uh, and then bracing probably defense on Poliwhirl, yeah, for sure. And then we'll be doing the same with the Psyduck slash Golduck. So I'm going to end up having to level up that Psyduck as well into Golduck, so that's really important. There's a lot of leveling usually in egg group kind of breeding or egg, or egg move breeding Pokemon because you're trying to get a very specific move on a very specific Pokemon. A lot of times you have to level them up to do that, so just an important thing to keep in mind. All right, this battle should be level 48. I can go ahead and teach him Belly Drum and then set up the breed properly and show you guys the kind of preview screen uh, after talking to that old man. So go ahead and show me. Ooh, he actually didn't learn it. That means I made a mistake. Okay. Oh, I should have evolved him. Interesting. So Polyrath. This is good. I made a mistake so you guys can see it live. That's good. Mistakes happen a ton during breeding, uh, and it's really important to just be aware of them. So what I have to go do now is actually give him a water stone so what's going to happen is he'll actually learn yeah if i saw that correctly he'll actually learn belly drum at the start so i wonder if that means where did i see that he learned at level 38 so or 48 so here he didn't learn it where did i oh is it polywag that learned at level 48 oh i'm so silly i can't believe i thought that so there's two options. You could either not, uh, like level your poly whirl up to uh, or poly wag up to 48 and not evolve it and learn belly drum that way or as soon as you get to poly whirl at level 25, you can just water stone it to polyrath. I made a huge mistake. Yeah, so actually you don't need to level your poly whirl up to 48. You only need to level them to 25 and you can just water stone. I wonder if I have a happen to have a water stone on me. I do. I can go ahead and show you guys now. So actually, you only need to be to level 25, so a bit of a waste of time for me, but that's okay. Mistakes like this happen all the time during breeding. It's just important to adapt uh, and move on. It's pretty complicated. There's just so many aspects to keep in mind. You end up making mistakes no matter how much of a veteran player you are. That's okay. So go ahead and see him learn Belly Drum. Submission. Don't decline that. Don't care about that. Show me the Belly Drum learn. Okay. I think I'm going to have to go Mushroom it, I guess, because I was a little late on it. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the Mushroom Relearner in Kanto, and I'll show you guys how to do that. If you if you had made the mistake, same mistake that I did or entered the same kind of problem that I have, uh, I'll show you guys how to relearn it at the Move Relearner. All right, so we head over to Kanto, fly over to Island 2, and then make sure you have a couple mushrooms on you. I know I have a couple. I'm not sure if I have enough. Go ahead and check. Yeah, it's not going to be enough, so I'm going to go buy some mushrooms really quick. Okay, now that we've got our mushrooms, we head over to this house right here on Island 2. Go ahead and talk to the Move Maniac Mushroom Dude. And click on Polarath. He's going to let you 
teach him belly drum for four big mushrooms. Go ahead and learn it over double slab, sure. And then, there we go. Belly drum has been learned. So now it's time to go set up the breed on, we're already in Kanto, we'll just go to Island 4 to set it up really quick. All right, for this breed, I'm gonna need a speed brace and then a defense brace are gonna be the two items. Go ahead and pick those up really quick and then I'll see you guys at the old man. All right, so with a speed brace on the Marl and a defense brace on the Polyrath, we'll come out with a super nice Marl with belly drum, super nicely. We don't have to worry about nature yet, but we do wanna go ahead and breed this and make sure we pay for the specific gender, pay for it to be female, cost an extra 5K, that's totally okay. Put that thing in a Pokeball, not too worried about that. Let that hatch. And while that's hatching, I'm gonna go have to level up this Psyduck anyway. I believe it needs to be, actually I could actually just, what level is the Psyduck? It could actually learn Aqua Jet at level 24, so I could actually go move relearner that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go do that really quick back at the Mushroom Dude. Okay, I actually could just level him up once. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that instead because that's free and using the mushrooms would cost around 12 to 16K. So let's go ahead and head back over to Unova, level up my Psyduck once and that'll just save me some extra Poke in. All right, leveled up the Psyduck. It should evolve into Golduck and I believe he learns Aqua Jet at the start. Hopefully, no more mistakes. Hopefully that happens. Let's go ahead and see. Show me the moves. All right, no moves. <laughs> I don't know why I always make these mistakes. That's okay. Let's go ahead and I should be able to mushroom it pretty easy. So we'll just head back to Kanto really quick and mushroom it onto him. All right, teaching my gold duck Aqua Jet now. Go ahead and put it over Screech. Sure, sure. Also, my Marl hatched, which is super nice. It came out sassy, uh, which isn't great. But that's nature doesn't, nature doesn't matter too much yet. Uh... But the IVs came out really nice, and it came out with Belly Drum, so pretty happy about that. Now it's time to go set up the breed with the Gold Duck. We're almost done. All right, but here's what the final breed is going to look like. Belly Drum and Aqua Jet on my nice Marl. Uh, I am bracing the attack on the Gold Duck. I'm paying 10k to raise the attack stat by one, uh, which is a little funny. But I think it's still worth it on Osmer, which is a really important Pokemon. People love this Pokemon. They want it to have really nice stats. 31 speed is going to be pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and click breed. And I am going to pay the 5k to make it female because I'm randomly rolling nature. Which means I might it's possible I might have to breed it again. This Osmeril I don't think is going to be for me or for my use, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I'm just going to be flipping it and selling it. So I probably should talk about the pricing points. So my starting Marl, I actually uh, caught myself, I believe, or I think I bought it off the GTL for cheap uh, and then rebred it. So I think I bought it off the GTL a while ago for around 5k, like a really cheap price. And then it probably spent around 25k or 20, it's probably 25 to 30k total investment in the initial Marl. Thank you. I'm getting so many whispers. Thank you guys so much for all the uh, positive support. I appreciate it. Um, but so I probably spent around 30k on the initial Marl and then I only spent... 2k on the Psyduck and 5k on the Poliwag. I remember that price. So 5k plus 2k, 7k plus I spent around 20k on mushrooms. So 20k on the mushrooms plus 7k, 27k plus the braces I just bought at uh, 20k. So 47k there plus the braces from the last breed. I think I did double braces. So 67k. So 67k plus. The 30k from the initial Marl equals 97k plus the two different 5k transactions for choosing the nature or choosing the gender. So I believe my total uh, spending on this breed was around 110k. I believe uh, that was a lot of like quick math in my head. Uh, I, I didn't write it down or like remember it super well. So hopefully it's pretty accurate, but. It should be quite accurate, uh, around 107k for this breed, so I'm excited to see how this Marl comes out and kind of show you guys on the GTL what I might be able to sell it for once I train it up. Alrighty, I random rolled Naive Nature, which is honestly super usable, plus speed on a 31 speed IV Osmeril is pretty nice. So yeah, really happy with this breed, 25 plus all around in the required stats, Osmeril needs everything except for special attack, just to try to survive a little bit, but attack and speed are the most important things, and it came out with 29 attack, 31 speed, so super nice, hopefully, yeah, I was gonna say, hopefully the ability came out huge power, it took him out huge power or thick fat, uh, you definitely want huge power, it's way, way, way better, but anyways, I'm going to check the GTL and see what I can sell this thing for as a UT and see what I can sell it for as a trained up comp.
All right, there's really not that many comparable options on the GTL, uh, and it looks like a lot of them don't even have the egg moves. Like this one's 520k uh, with four times 31, and obviously way better IVs than mine uh, with Adamant Nature, which is really nice. But he's missing the egg moves, which makes the Pokemon pretty like unusable. Uh, this dude has Belly Drum, Aqua Jet, very very nice, uh, and then it's five times 31. I think I could actually. It might be a squeeze, but I think I could definitely train this thing up and sell it for 300 to 400k. Uh, because Osmeril is such a like pretty desired comp, pretty desired Pokemon, it's very, very fun and very, very cool to play with. Um, and it also has really annoying egg moves uh, and is really hard to breed. So I, I, I don't know, I really see myself uh, being able to train this up and sell it for a pretty insane amount of money. And I'm pretty excited to you know see how that goes and hopefully it goes well. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to end up training it. Um, I don't know if I'll go 252 attack, 252 speed, but I'll definitely go 252 attack. And then I'll be, might be sacrificing some of the speed EVs to put into HP. It kind of just depends on the speed tiers, but I might just be going 252 HP or 252 attack, 252 speed, excuse me. Since I'm naive, uh, I think I'll be able to outspeed a lot more stuff than usual. So I don't know. I see myself training this thing up. Uh, and being able to sell it pretty easily for like 400k, which is kind of insane. But yeah, it's just a really desired Pokemon. I spent 107k on it, uh, and then obviously some time. But yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that. That is a that is a pretty great, pretty great profit. So, anyways, that's how you breed Belly Drum and Aqua Jet onto an Osmeril. I hope this video was helpful and also showed some deeper insights onto mistakes, uh, how to rectify them and how to go from there, and just what to do and like the best options when breeding an Osmeril with Aqua Jet and Belly Drum. So that's everything for this video. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Leave comments, questions, concerns in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Pokemon content, one of the few channels that uploads consistently and tries to get you guys as much information, uh, education, entertainment, enjoyable content as possible. Join the Discord linked below. Check out all of the playlist linked below. You can become a YouTube member to me for $5 a month linked below in the description. Check out, check out the description. There's a ton of links there, uh, and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Have an absolutely incredible day. Much love from Petrowski.